Hello everyone, Shadow Bagheera, it's me Martina. So ever since I made the armor, I've been thinking that I need a shield to go with it. I made a couple of different designs and I think I have one that can work. And since I made the armor out of leather, I don't really want to follow up with a shield made of, for example, foam. I want to try to make everything out of wood and hopefully make it look somewhat like metal. And now the first thing I gotta do is to print out some templates of my design. I love this shape and now before you go ahead and be like that is not a historically accurate shield and with this hole this won't really be protective <laughs> calm down it's a fantasy shield fantasy <laughs> and I mean of course you can make fantasy shields that are like actually really protective but this is my shield I want it to be like this okay but yeah so now we can take this paper template we can transfer it to two layers of three millimeter plywood and I'm gonna glue those together in a little bit of a, a curve shape so we get a little bit of a, a curvy boy okay let's go find some wood The shape of this shield. I'm in love with the shape. Oh my god. And if you think it looks familiar, it's because I've been very much inspired by Gilgalad's shield in Lord of the Rings. It's a gorgeous shield and I wanted to keep like the main elements, but I've changed up the detailing and stuff to make it more my own. I can't wait to start putting detail on here, which is what we're gonna do next. And we've been so lucky to borrow a laser cutter, so I'm gonna do all the detailing with that. But you can definitely use like a coping saw or a scroll saw or something to make these kind of details. But since we have a laser cutter, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna begin with the edge bands that are going around the entire shield first and then do some more intricate stuff afterwards. Let's do some laser cutting. morning this has been drying overnight the glue is now well dry <laughs> and I really love how these edge bands turn out I mean look at this 
Holy crap! There was one thing I noticed though while I was gluing this was that the top layer of the edge band was kind of shifted because of the curve of the shield. So there is a little gap here at the front on either side about like three millimeters or so. And I figured instead of like cutting out a tiny piece here, I have these matchsticks that fit pretty much perfectly into this gap. So I'm just gonna cut some small matchsticks, put them in place, glue them there, cover it with some wood filler and pretend this never happened. <laughs> Hide your mistakes. That's how I do things. First chop, mark it, glue now. Just push these in there. More glue and use your finger because why not? People in the comments get mad and that's funny. <laughs> bada bang, bada boom. Now I just gotta wait for it to dry and we can cover it up with some wood filler later. It's later and the wood glue is dry. So what I'm gonna do next is of course to cover up my mistake with some wood filler so no one will know. And also I'm gonna cover up basically the whole shield here because there are some gaps that doesn't look very nice. So when we're gonna paint it later, we need it to be as smooth as possible to get the best result. I should obviously have done this before gluing the edge, but it's... Uh, you can't think of everything and, and I'm... Sometimes I'm just... I work too fast and I make mistakes. <laughs> so if you're doing this, it would be way smarter to just do this step before gluing on the edge bands. Okay, wood filler and then sanding. Let's go! Okay guys, we gotta make a shield boss. I love that it's called a shield boss, by the way. It's the best name for anything ever. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been through a ton of different ideas for making the shield boss, like fiberglass or clay or I don't know, foam. But in the end, I just cut out all of these laser cut parts. So we're gonna try to glue all of these layers together in a huge sandwich and then try to just sand everything down to make a nice like oval droplet shape. Outside. How about that? There's sun, even? What? So the shield bus is finished and I also laser cut a bunch of details that are going on top of the shield. We're outside because we're gonna spray lacquer everything in, first of all, black spray paints, and then we're gonna lacquer it with some clear coat and make a super thick, shiny, glossy surface. And finally, this is the big kicker, we're gonna cover it with all clad to make it look like metal. <sighs> Let's get painting!
And now, before we put this thing together, here's an ad for NordVPN. NordVPN protects you while you're strolling about online, no matter which device you're using. And they even have double data encryption for increased anonymity. But you might not care much about online security and such, but I'm sure you care about what you can and can't watch on Netflix. Well, with NordVPN, you can connect to over 5,500 super fast servers in 60 countries, including China, and unlock the entertainment there. And as a bonus, you get CyberSec Suite, which basically acts as an ad blocker. NordVPN offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as 24-7 customer support. And also, they don't log your data, which is pretty nice. So if you're interested, it's NordVPN's ninth birthday. So for every purchase of a two-year plan, you get one additional month for free and a surprise gift. So go to nordvpn.com nerdforge and use code nerdforge at checkout. And back to the project. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and all the parts are now completely dry. I was originally planning to make these bands outside here gold as with all the details here. But now that I see it in black and all these colors combined, I kind of like it this way. So I'm going to keep it like that. I think making that gold as well would just be a little bit too much. So I think it's going to be a nice balance here between the black and the purple and the silver and the gold. And now finally comes the most exciting part that I've been waiting from the beginning, which is putting it together. And also then afterwards we have to paint the backside, make a leather strap so I can actually wear it. And we're finished. Yes, <laughs> let's put it together. Yesterday before I went to bed I did one last thing to the assembly off camera and that was all these purple parts had kind of a, a weird rugged texture so to fix that I just applied some UV resin to everything and now it's just so nice and glossy and I feel like that's just what it needed. And I mean there are certainly things about this shield that could have been improved but this is my first shield. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm so happy with this, this design. Ugh. And these color combos as well. Mm. But now, before we have a look at the final result, I just want to give a huge thanks to our patrons. You guys are freaking awesome. And I mean, you enable us to do this as a living and that's insane. And also remember that we make a Behind the Forge video after all of our projects where we talk in depth about it, we answer your questions and that's available to our patrons so you can check it out down in the description. I'll leave a link there. And now thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next project. Let's have a look at the final result. <laughs>